Now, the world's largest cruise ship, the Icon of the Seas, has set sail from Miami in Florida on its maiden voyage. Now, have a look at it. It is 365 meters long, has 20 decks, and there is enough room for almost 8,000 passengers on board. Features include a 16-meter waterfall, six water slides, and more than 40 restaurants and bars and venues. The chief engineer of the Icon of the Seas says the ship is, well, iconic. So obviously the technology on, the, uh, on a new cruise ship keeps evolving and uh, we as a company are on a continuous journey with all kinds of technology. Everything from what you see up in the accommodation, what the guests will see from uh, cabin automation in terms of ventilation and the light system that we have on board, all the way down to the technical area and the machinery area where we are the first big cruise ship in the Royal uh, International brand where we have uh, LNG as our main fuel source, which is quite exciting for us on, on board to take part of that journey uh, with, the, with the new technology. The icon of the seas is apparently 24% more energy efficient than required by the International Maritime Organization. But environmentalists have criticized the ship because it's powered by LNG, a fossil fuel which emits the greenhouse gas methane. Methane is coming under more scrutiny. Um, we had uh, the International Maritime Organization, uh, which regulates shipping around the world, uh, come together and over the summer announce their greenhouse gas reduction strategy. It does explicitly include reducing methane emissions, um, which is wonderful that we're naming it. And it kind of puts the brakes on all of these LNG build outs. You know, hopefully the icon of the sea will be one of the last LNG ships uh, because methane fracking, these are not climate solutions. Well, for more on this, we're now joined by Dave Monk, an award-winning cruise writer who was recently on board the Icon of the Seas. Dave, thank you so much for joining us on BBC News. Well, this story has sparked a lot of interest around the world. It's the most read story on the BBC website. Now, we've seen the ship on, from the outside. We've seen those wonderful images. But what was it like on board? Uh, well, it is incredible, as you can imagine. It's more like a floating island than a cruise ship. There are so many, there are eight separate neighbourhoods, as they call them. So there's a park with 30,000 plants and trees. There's a whole family section, a huge water park, a dome with its own waterfall. So it's, it's an incredible engineering achievement. And you mentioned a ship with neighbourhoods. It seems unimaginable for a lot of people viewing. I've never been on a cruise ship. So tell me, what it is the idea around it? Are people meant to get on board and just stay there for weeks, perhaps? Well, you could, but of course, it's a cruise ship. So it does visit various places within the Caribbean. Um, but there is so much to see and do and experience on board. Uh, lots of restaurants and there's a Wizard of, Wizard, Wizard of Oz show, stage show, um, and just continual activity on board. So these neighbourhoods, for example, you can walk through this park. It's very serene. Uh, there are much busier. The water park is uh, has six amazing slides. Uh, there's a drop slide that I went on. You can walk over the edge of the ship on a harness, which I did, 150 feet above the waves. So it, whatever you want to do, whether you want a peaceful holiday or activity filled, it's all on one ship. And Dave, our, our viewers can now actually see you, I think, ziplining <laughs> over the edge of the ship. Just uh, tell us, yes, what was that I'm, like? I'm kind of suspended on this harness. It's like an overhead uh, rope that's uh, keeping me safe as I walk over the side of the ship and then I stand on a platform which gives way and then you're kind of zip lining back to the to the the safety of the deck. Uh, and Dave briefly before we end the program there are obviously these concerns around um, the environment and methane emissions how much is this a concern for the icon of the seas but also the industry? 
Oh, it's a huge concern for the industry. There's so much money and effort going in now to try and reduce the environmental impact. Uh, LNG was thought to be, you know, the way forward because it cuts carbon dioxide emissions hugely and, and reduces particulates. But as we hear, there's a whole new debate about this. But this is a, a continuing, evolving technology towards eventually net zero cruise ships. Dave, thank you very much. Dave Monk, the cruise ship writer on telling us about what it was like on the icon of the seas, the world's largest cruise ship.